What's a seller's market, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you. A seller's market is when there are less than six months of inventory at a given time, AKA less homes to choose from. Well, what does that mean for me? Well, that depends. Are you a buyer or a seller? Being in the seller's market, buyers and sellers are affected in different ways. Hi, my name is Blaine Thomas, and in today's video, we're gonna go over the different ways that buyers and sellers are affected in the seller's market. Stay tuned. A seller's market affects both the buyers and the sellers differently. First, let's talk about how being in the seller's market affects the buyers. Like previously mentioned, there are fewer homes to choose from. In the seller's market, homes are flying on and off the market. Homes can sell in as little as hours on the market. It's tough to buy a home that you didn't even see hit the market. Less negotiating power. In the seller's market, the sellers are in control. The sellers are getting offers from left to right. If you and the seller can't agree to terms, there are plenty of other buyers waiting to give the seller what they ask for. Need to be able to close quickly. There are many things in the deal that can give your offer an edge over other buyers. Time is one of those things. People are ready to buy now. Most sellers are not willing to wait if they don't have to. Could spend more than asking price. Like the last point I made, there are many things in the deal that can give you an edge over your competition. One of the more obvious ones is money. In the seller's market, an asking price is more like a starting bid price. Buyers are more than willing to pay over asking for a house that they really want. Competition from other buyers. Since there are fewer homes to choose from in the seller's market, more buyers are likely to be looking at the same houses that you like. Since there will be more buyers, you and your agent, which could be me, have to come up with ways to separate yourself from the next buyer. Have you ever bought a home in the seller's market? How was that experience? Try to let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And then there's being a seller in the seller's market. Homes sell more quickly. In a seller's market, buyers are desperate. Some may have been looking for months, some even years. They would do whatever it takes to close on a home that they really want. Multiple offers likely. In the seller's market, there are fewer homes to choose from. That means more buyers are gonna be looking at your home. With more buyers looking at your home, more offers are likely to come in. Could get more to ask in price. In the seller's market, buyers are aware that homes are hard to come by. They will pay whatever they have to to get into your home. Buyers are also aware that other buyers feel like this. So buyers will offer whatever they feel they have to to fend off the rest of their competition. And buyers willing to overlook repairs. In a seller's market, buyers are looking for every single edge they can get to separate themselves from their competition. Some who have the capital are willing to overlook repairs and buy the home as is. They are willing to pay for repairs that a seller usually addresses and take them on to give their offer an edge. Have you ever sold a home in a seller's market? How did you make out? Tell me all about that experience in the comments below. As you can see, a seller's market has its advantages and its disadvantages, depending on your situation. My advice, get a knowledgeable agent. Again, could be me. Email in the description below. Who will help you navigate the market and put you in the best position to win in a seller's market. Again, my name is Blaine Thomas, and I will see you guys on the next one.